Hey guys, what is going on? Pokemon Master 556 here. For all of you long-term subscribers out there of this channel, the channel is going to be taking a little bit of a turn, okay? So as you guys know, I've been doing Pokemon cards for the last maybe 10 years or so here on this channel. Um, my channel has been slowing down more and more each year, of course, since all this crazy stuff that has happened. Pokemon has became exceedingly expensive, and I've been selling off quite a bit of my collection. Um, I do still collect, but I do collect very little, and I don't really spend much money. I mainly just open up new product and collect little things here and there, little trinkets, Umbreon stuff, <laughs> you know, the stuff I really do enjoy that I can look at every now and then to put in my display case, stuff like that. But most of the stuff is for sale, so if you guys are interested in looking at my YouTube, my eBay, my Instagram, stuff like that, you know, I'm around. I'm here. You can feel free to message me, do anything you like um, involving Pokemon or even cars. Heck, um, that is actually another thing why I'm making this video today is I am actually moving over to the car world of things. So I've always enjoyed cars ever since I was a young, since I was a young lad, <laughs> um, around the age of like eight, nine, I always used to play Gran Turismo on the PlayStation. So there's a lot of older cars that I really enjoyed driving in those video games, I guess. And, uh, I was really hoping that I could start to make that into real life, you know, help at some point I could build some cars, enjoy life, go fast. <laughs> I will still be having Pokemon stuff around, of course, um, but this channel is mainly going to be about building cars from now on. I will be having PSA returns, maybe some collection videos and stuff like that in the future as well here and there. Um, I hope you guys would be interested in that. I know that out of the 2,500 subscribers that I currently have, you guys have been following me for a very long time. So some of you guys might be interested in uh, my car vlogs, um, stuff like that. So if you guys care to follow, check it out, see what it's all about. Maybe I could do some interesting videos involving Pokemon and cars at the same time little, I don't know, silly ASMR clips <laughs> where they got Pokemon cards sitting on my cars while the clips are going. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, you know, for me that you guys might be intrigued and maybe want to watch, comment below. You know, send me a message on Instagram or something. Um, I'm open to ideas. Um, my father is actually going to be helping me with this. Um, we got a GoPro 10. I just ordered it the other day, and so I'm really hoping that this can help improve the quality of the videos going to 4K, because currently I am just recording through a camera, so on my phone, of course, and they aren't exactly the highest of quality. They're still pretty good, but hopefully the GoPro will knock it out of the park and make some killer videos with some excellent 4K res, because that's the good stuff. <laughs> But uh, while we're at it, maybe we could take a look at the cars and uh, see a few of the purchases that I have had as of recently. So first off, I figured maybe we could start off with a couple of binders and stuff like that that I've got. Um, it's not much. I haven't had any PSA cards purchased or anything of the sort as of lately. So most of this stuff is just binder collection stuff. But uh, stuff that I've opened as well. Um, you can see here we got the 25th anniversary cards here in Japanese. I opened a box a month ago. I'm sorry for the lack of recordings and stuff, but I just haven't really felt motivated to do that type of stuff over this last couple of years. And so I've been really kind of just struggling mentally, as some of you guys probably have been as well over the last couple of years. Mine isn't due to the fact of what's going on in the world. I've just been going through a hard time. And, uh, you know, life sucks. I'm trying to make it better. I'm working hard at it every single day. I've got goals in mind over the next couple of years. I actually intend on quitting my job if I can. Uh, 
hopefully by the end of 2022. I was hoping that I could man manage to make enough money off of what I do outside of Pokemon and work, um, which is stock market stuff. I've learned a lot over the last few years, and I really hope to have enough knowledge gained to where I could actually stop working with the amount of money that I currently have and use money to make more money in the market. So keep your fingers crossed for me that I do good and I kill it in the market because that's what we all want. We want freedom from work. I'm tired of working for somebody else and making them have their, pa their pockets get deeper I want deep pockets, <laughs> you know, that's the dream right there. Financial freedom, baby. One day you guys could have it too if you haven't already. Pokemon's been very enjoyable for me over these last 10 years. And now it's time to move on to something different. You know, I enjoy working on my house doing DIY projects, stuff like that. It's always been quite enjoyable. So when I work on a car, I'm going to be working on a car. I'm not going to have somebody from a mechanic shop work on it. I'm going to learn everything. I want to keep my mind busy, especially if I'm going to stop working. You know, it's always been a goal of mine to stay mechanically inclined and just crush it doing anything that I do. I just want to be good at everything that I do. You know, it doesn't just have to be good at finding and collecting Pokemon cards or installing garage doors, which I do for a living. I'd love to be able to do good at everything that I do, you know, and moving on to cars, fixing stuff on the house, uh, just learning how to talk with people and stuff like that and get my mind in the right mindset to be successful in life. That's all I wish for myself. I see a lot of you guys out there and, you know, some of you guys lead sad lives. I've seen it firsthand. I'm not going to say any names, of course, but I wish you guys all well. And I hope the best for everyone. Anyways, back to Pokemon. <laughs> actually have, I don't even remember what the name of this set even is here, but it is the full secret rare set here. Uh, shiny, something or other, I can't remember, honestly. It's a pretty cool set here that I've got. It's the full-on Japanese set. Very, very awesome to have in a binder. And this is something that I've absolutely always loved myself, too, is uh, just a good old-fashioned binder set. You know, especially with these here being Japanese and all, you know, they're just, they're gems. They are gems. Got that beautiful Charizard right there. I know you guys all love that, but I'm a big fan of the Evolutions. So some of those are my favorite for sure. Of course, there's some amazing artwork that doesn't have to do with Eevee in this set too. Basically, everything is just epic looking. Except for some of the newer Pokemon, like those up there at the top. I mean, I don't really care much for those. Go to Lombreon there. Gotta say, I love it. But yeah, I mean, Shiny Rayquaza. Ah, yeah. You know, I'm just hoping to do good. And I hope you guys have a great year. There's big things coming to the channel. And I hope that you guys will stay and follow. Because, well, you guys have stuck around for this long. Why not stick around a little longer and see what it's all about? So now we're out here in the garage. It's currently empty. I backed the cars out so you guys can take a little look at them. See what this is all about. And guys, don't mind the cars. They are incredibly dirty right now. It has, it was snowing all the last couple of weeks. So the snow finally melted away and cars need to have a bath. Pretty bad. So. Don't talk shit. So guys, we're stepping out of the garage here and as you can see here, I got my work truck over here. Hopefully that'll go bye-bye by the end of the year. 
that won't even exist. Excuse the airplane. I actually live kind of close to a airport. It's a very small airport. If any of you guys ever want to come visit me, um, it's not a very far drive from the airport for me to pick you up. So <laughs> anyways, guys, we've got a 2020 STI right here by Subaru. This bad boy is already built. I built it myself with my father. It's got 425 wheel horsepower and torque. It's gonna be getting some tweaks done to it and it's gonna only get better from here and much, much faster. Um, beautiful car, beautiful color, I love it. But this bad boy over here, my Evo X by Mitsubishi, um, it's 2013. It. Uh, I don't know how much power it actually has on it because I did buy it used. I'm the fourth owner of it and it's got 99,000 miles on it, unfortunately, but I am going to be building everything, even the engine. So it's gonna be getting a complete new engine and everything put in it. So if you guys wanna follow this amazing epic journey of watching cars get built, even some trucks, my dad's gonna be helping me do some stuff with his vehicles and mine. So we're going to be having a ton of fun doing this. These cars are the definition of badass, okay? <laughs> Especially for four-cylinder cars, these things can make some serious power. And they sound great, too. So I hope you guys uh, will follow me through this journey. And enjoy the new videos that I'll be pumping out. So it's going to be cars. It's going to be some Pokemon. Probably a lot less Pokemon because it is so difficult for me to even find the time or even manage to purchase this, especially with a hobby like cars over here. These things are going to take up a lot of my time and my money. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one.